This video is about the nucleus of a cell, which is arguably the most important organelle because it's the control center that controls all of the actions that happen inside of the cell. This is because the nucleus contains the DNA of a cell. So the DNA is kind of like the blueprints that control all of the processes that happen inside the cell. Without the nucleus, the cell itself couldn't exist. So we'll take a minute to look at this one in the center of the cell. Um, to give you an idea for what this looks like, we've got our animal cell here. And the nucleus is up here at the top. So it's this one is usually the largest organelle in, uh, in a, an animal cell anyway. It has a few different parts to it. Drag this one down so you can see it a little bit more with what they're labeled as. We've got the nucleolus in the middle. This is a dark dot. Uh, it says up here that this is where ribosomes are produced. Ribosomes are another one of the organelles. They're these little dots that you see here on the endoplasmic reticulum, and some of them are sort of free-floating out in the cell on their own. The ribosomes create proteins, and the ribosomes themselves are made in the nucleolus inside the nucleus. So the whole thing is the nucleus. A uh, nucleolus is the dark dot in the middle, and then the nuclear pores are these little openings around the nucleus. This allows the uh, proteins to go in and out of the cell, I'm sorry, in and out of the nucleus. And you can see that it shows here how they're kind of connected to the endoplasmic reticulum, which is what's going to transport those proteins then inside of the cell. So the cell is always set up for efficiency. Everything in here is supposed to operate smoothly, and so it makes sense that the uh, nucleolus, which is creating the ribosomes, which are going to be creating the proteins, is connected to the endoplasmic reticulum that's going to be transporting the proteins. But the most important thing to know about the nucleus is just that it's the control center of the cell and that it contains the cell's DNA. And to give you an idea of what these actually look like, this is an image that was taken just through a regular light microscope like the ones we have in class. And you've probably seen some of these even if you haven't really uh, noticed it in class. The nucleus is usually sort of a darker dot on the inside of a cell. You can see that these are plant cells because it has the cell wall around the outside. It's a little bit more structured than some of the other cells that we look at, uh, which is also something that, that's worthy of mention. This example was an animal cell, but plant cells have a nucleus as well. Most of the organelles are actually the same between plant and animal cells. I just happened to use an animal cell for this particular example. So this one's overall, it's uh, pretty simple, but certainly one of the most important things to know about inside the cell. Remember, it's the control center that houses the DNA. Thank you for watching.